So, buckle up, folks. The feature is here, and Google is about to release its brand new AI system, Gemini. This thing is going to blow your mind. Ever heard of Gemini? It's Google's latest chatbot that they've created to give a run for the money to other AI chatbots like Microsoft Bing Chat and OpenAI's ChatGPT. Demis Hassabis, the cool co-founder of DeepMind and CEO of Google DeepMind, has already spilled some juicy details about this bad boy. Pretty exciting stuff. Why on earth does Google want a Gemini when you already have a bard? So, here's the deal. Google wants to make its enterprise products like Docs and Slides even better, so they're bringing the Google Bard to step up their game. Plus, a developer wants to access the Gemini AI app through Google Cloud, they gotta pay up. This move is basically a challenge to Microsoft and their fancy AI integration in Office 365. Oh, and get this. With Gemini coming out in 2023, there could be some major advancement in medical science. We're talking AI chatbots and robots doing their thing on Gemini. And hold on to your seat. Since Gemini is trained on YouTube video transcript, it might even have the power to create short videos. Pretty wild stuff, huh? It's all about teamwork here. Google decided to bring together their deep AI research unit, Google Brain, and their subsidiary company, DeepMind, to form one epic team called Google DeepMind. This unexpected move by Pichai was all about improving efficiency by combining Google's crazy computational power with DeepMind's mad research skills. Before that, both teams had their own fancy responses to ChatGPT. DeepMind had Project Goodall, and Google had a BARD based on the Google Brain's model. Despite some friendly competition between the crew, DeepMind ditched Goodall and joined forces on Gemini. So you know Gemini ain't no small talk you want to ignore. It's legit. So the way Gemini works is actually not that complicated. You see, Google has this massive knowledge base and a ton of data-driven applications at their disposal. What sets Gemini apart is the incredible amount of resources that Google has access to, particularly all the data they can use to train their AI models. They can tap into YouTube videos, Google Books, their extensive search index, and scholarly materials from Google Scholar. A lot of this data is exclusive to Google, which gives them an advantage when it comes to building smarter models. Plus, Gemini is the first multimodal model that can handle video, text, and images all in one, unlike GPT-4. With all this training data behind them, it's safe to say Gemini has a real edge in the AI arms race. This will be the main training resource for Gemini AI app. With a deep understanding based on the experience and a talent group of contributors, this large language model training list is a winner. Gemini is using a new architecture that combines both encoder and decoder for multimodal tasks. In simpler terms, Google is merging multiple experts' AI models with different capabilities to tackle more complex tasks. The encoder role is to translate the various data types into shared language that the decoder can understand and act upon. The decoder then generates outputs in different modalities, making it a standout feature of this innovative Google invention. There are still strong rumors suggesting that Gemini will have a parameter count in a trillion range, as the outgoing training of Gemini is confirmed to have utilized tens of one thousands of Google's powerful TPU AI chips. So can Gemini outsmart ChatGPT? OpenAI's large language models so far have been leading the AI race, thanks to their early launch and Microsoft's vast data century infrastructure to back them up. But the chat GPT dominance may not last forever, as new and powerful AI models are emerging every month, and one of them has a far stronger chance of becoming a real challenger, Google. The fact that Google Brain and DeepMind are working together on this could spell trouble for OpenAI and other rivals. How Google is building Gemini also matters. Alright, so get this. GPT-4 is like this super huge language model. With like 1 trillion to 1.7 trillion parameters, it can write essay, translate language, and answer questions real fast. But here's the thing, chat GPT has its limitation, you know? Like, there are things it just can't do. Because Gemini AI is going to blow your mind, once it's out, it's going to bring a whole new perspective of AI and have these amazing enhanced capabilities. Gemini is going to be a total genius when it comes to handling different tasks and data-driven stuff. We're talking about image, audios, videos, 3D models, you name it. And guess what? Gemini does not limit itself like other models do. It can handle multiple requests at once without breaking a sweat. So not only will Gemini be great at understanding and generating text and chants, but it'll also rock at dealing with all sorts of inputs like text, images, and videos. Rumors has it that Gemini is being trained on twice as many tokens as ChatGPT for. That means it's going to be way smarter too. So get high for Gemini AI because it's going to take things to a whole new level. Isn't it interesting how Gemini contributes to robotic visions? With Gemini, robots can effortlessly interact with objects in any environment without the need of additional training. 
The code and models are readily accessible online for anyone to utilize and enhance, marking a significant advancement in robotic vision. But here's what you're probably wondering. Where can we get our hands in this extraordinary piece of technology? Well, hold on to your hands because Gemini will be available before you know it. According to Google, it is set to launch within the next few months, so stay tuned for updates. Although an official release date hasn't been announced yet, Google has assured us that more projects detail will be revealed soon. The team behind FAN has recently published a paper titled Following Anything, Open Set Detection, Tracking, and Following Real Time. In this paper, they showcase the capabilities of their system and demonstrate how it performs existing robotic object following system. One of the core challenges addressed by FAN is the capability of robotic systems to new objects by introducing an open set approach and leveraging inputs such as text, image, or click queries, FAN can dynamically adjust its capabilities to handle previously unseen objects. Overall, the FAN project represents a significant advancement in robotics technology with its ability to overcome limitations and adapt on the go. FAN has the potential to revolutionize various fields that relies on object detection and tracking. The team has a school task where they want a robot to detect an object and make sure it stays in the camera's view. To make it happen, they've combined these fancy VIT models into one powerful system called FAN. And get this, it can process data in real time. This framework is perfect for robotics, especially on small flying robots. It's super versatile and can be deployed in real-world situations. Let me break it down for you. VITs are transformers that can analyze images by breaking them into smaller parts, kind of like a sequence of tokens. Just like how transformers understand relations between words and text, VITs can understand connections between different parts of an image. And because they have this attention thing going on, they focus on the important stuff on the picture. But here's what makes FAN really special. It has a way to redetect objects if they get blocked or disappear momentarily. Other systems struggle with that, but not FAN. It's robust and ready for whatever challenge comes in its way. So let's say you want a fan to track a red ball, right? All you have to do is show the fan a picture of a red ball or click on it on the video. From there, the fan will do its thing and track the red ball throughout the entire video. And get this, you can easily switch to tracking a different object by simply changing your instruction. It's pretty cool, right? But here's where it gets more impressive. This fan isn't limited to tracking just one item. Nope. It can track multiple objects all at once. You just give separate instructions for each object and the fan does its magic. And let me tell you, this fan has shown some seriously incredible performance when it comes to visual object tracking and segmentation. It beats out popular methods like CM Mask and Sega Rod in terms of accuracy and robustness. Oh, and did we mention that this fan works across different data sets without needing any extra training? That means we're one step closer to having robots that can interact with any objects and any settings. Imagine having a robot assistant that can understand your every command and can fetch things or clean up for you. Or how about a robot that can play games and explore new places? Sounds pretty awesome if you ask me. And here's the best part. Anyone can access this amazing technology. The researchers behind this fan made their code and models available online for everyone to use and improve upon. So if you're interested, check out their GitHub repository. The future is looking bright. We don't know about you, but we can't wait to see what kind of crazy things we can do with Gemini. It's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. So get ready, folks, because the future is here and it's called Gemini. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more AI contests like this.